Prime Minister Erna Solberg of Norway to the White House. Madam Prime Minister, it's been a pleasure to host you today. We had some very interesting discussions as we strengthen the wonderful friendship between our two countries. Norwegians and Americans have so much in common. We're nations made up of strong, pioneering, and adventurous people, to say the least. Over a thousand years ago, daring voyagers of Norwegian descent, such as Eric the Red, braved treacherous seas in courageous missions of exploration. Centuries later, during the Second World War, brave Norwegians escaped occupied Norway to fight alongside of Americans and the Allies, including on the beaches of Normandy in 1944. Our friendship builds on this proud and noble history and is rooted in our commitment to confront the problems of today with that same confidence and that same determination. And I think it might even be greater determination. We've just concluded a series of discussions on how we can work together to promote a future of security and world prosperity, and also a great future for our respective countries working together. The Prime Minister and I are both committed to strengthening the NATO alliance. Norway has made contributions to the NATO-led mission in Afghanistan, where we are doing very well. It's been turned around as well as to NATO and NATO's enhanced forward presence in Poland and the Baltic states. I want to thank the Prime Minister and the Norwegian people for their participation in these efforts. I encourage Norway to follow through on its commitment to meet the 2 percent of GDP defense spending obligation so that together we can confront the full range of threats facing our nations. And I believe Norway will get there quite soon. Norway is also a vital and valued member of the campaign to defeat ISIS. Because of us, ISIS has now lost almost 100 percent of the territory it previously held not so long ago in Iraq and in Syria. We're grateful for Norway's civilian assistance efforts and generous humanitarian aid to the region. They've been out there and really doing an incredible job. I'm also pleased to share that the economic ties between our two countries are robust and growing. The United States currently has a trade surplus, which is shocking. <laughs> you believe I'm saying we have a surplus? There aren't too many. You're going to have to go back and check your people. But we're getting more and more surpluses all over the world, I will say that. I told that to the Prime Minister. But our two countries are robust and growing. The United States currently has a, a large contingent of products that we sell and back and forth with Norway. And one of the big products, of course, is our military equipment. I want to thank the people of Norway for their commitment to fair and reciprocal trade, a word that you're going to hear more and more coming from this administration, and it should have come from other administrations before me. Reciprocal trade, which benefits us all. Free nations are stronger when the trade is fair. And trade has not been overly fair with the United States, but we've had that great relationship with Norway. But remember the word reciprocal. In November, we started delivering the first F-52s and F-35 fighter jets. We have a total of 52, and they've delivered a number of them already, a little ahead of schedule. It's a $10 billion order. Norway also invests about one-third of its sovereign wealth fund in American businesses, supporting hundreds of thousands of American jobs. They're very big investors in our stock market, and therefore, the Prime Minister thanked me very much, because their market is you have done very well with your investments in the United States, right? Thank you. Norway's commitment to mutually beneficial commerce is a model for other nations, and it really is. It's an amazing country. I look forward to forging an even stronger economic relationship between the United States and Norway, growing this record of success with even more investment and more jobs and more job creation. We're also proud of our increasing cooperation on health, 
and health security, and also on biodefense, very important to both countries. I commend Prime Minister Solberg's efforts to promote vaccine development and disease prevention. Together, we can save and improve many, many lives. We're working very hard and, in some cases, together on cures to many ailments. Prime Minister Solberg, I want to thank you again for joining us at the White House. For decades, Norwegians and Americans have stood side by side against common threats to our freedom, our security, and to our values. Together, we have fought against fascism and communism and terrorism, and we face threats always. Together, we're partners. Our partnership has advanced peace, cooperation, and respect for human dignity all around the world. Today, we remain united in our efforts to confront shared challenges, to seize new opportunities, and to build a bright and beautiful future for our countries, our people, our children. And I think we're doing very well working together, and we have a newfound friendship. So I want to thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for your generous welcome. Uh, it's a great honor to be here at the White House. The relationship between our two countries is strong, and it has very deep roots. There are millions of U.S. citizens who proudly call themselves Norwegian Americans. And our Norwegian constitution, the second oldest in the world, that is still in force, was inspired by American ideals. And we have had a long and continuous history of serving shoulder to shoulder on battlefields around the world. The U.S. remains our most important ally, a major trade partner, and a close friend. Today, we have discussed issues of, for, of importance for our uh, relationship, how we can keep our countries and citizens safe, how we can grow our economies, how we can further cooperation, the cooperation in areas of mutual interest. And I have assured President Trump that Norway remains an ally and a friend that you can count on in the future. We are already number two in NATO after the US in terms of defense spending per capita, and we are making significant investments to further strengthen our defense. And this includes, as the President said, some big buys from American industry. P-8 maritime patrol aircraft from Boeing, 52 F-35 combat aircraft from Lockheed Martin, our largest single public investment ever in Norway, but also, we are buying new uh, submarines and investments in intelligence capabilities and army assets, and, uh, which is important also for our job in the northern part. The American economy is doing well, and our economic relations are flourishing. And that's to the benefit of both countries. As we discussed in our meeting, for a small country like Norway, it's important for our ability to trade and to invest across border that we have fair trade and that we have multilateral trade systems also. And we uh, think it's important for our future. Norwegian in uh, investments and Norwegian companies support close to half a million jobs of, in the United States. And through our government pension funds, substantial revenues from our oil sectors are being investment, invested in US assets. The US has an impressive business uh, community. And I have commended the leading role it is playing also in the transformation to a green economy. For example, by the fact that uh, one of the big areas we are now importing in Norway is electrical cars from Tesla. And uh, Norway is uh, combating climate change. It's an important issue for us. And we are committed to the Paris Agreement. But it leads to businesses, and it leads to American businesses also selling cars in Norway. At the same time, the green economy is an area where we see tremendous economic and business opportunities in the future. And finally, I think it's important to say that we also are discussing some of the big difficult issues, for example, the development of, in Afghanistan, where I think and hope that we can find a new future. It's important that we are all working together to find uh, solutions both in North Korea, Afghanistan, Syria, and Iraq. And since September 11, 2001, Norway has contributed to a range of mission and operations, including the fight against ISIS. And I have assured the President that we remain unwavering in our commitment to the fight against terrorism all over the world. 
So, Mr. President, I am looking forward to future cooperation, and thank you for a very fruitful meeting. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.